What's up guys? I wanted to show you a cool new feature, at least new to me, and I believe it's been launched recently on the Fusion platform, and that is the instance of duplicating a part with the joint that is there. So let's look at this instance right here. You can see that I have a couple of these brackets here installed, and rather than doing them all over and over and over again, we install one, and then we're able to duplicate that instance multiple times. So we kind of see it here with um, these little corner brackets. I did the same thing with the center beam on those brackets. I'm gonna show it now with this bottom T piece. So let's do that. I'm gonna click on joint. I'm gonna select a joint that I know is gonna be easy to replicate. And that's gonna be the bottom edge of this T here. You'll see why I'm choosing that here in a second. And that's because it lines up really well with the bottom of this face here it lines up perfectly, okay? So I'm able to use it as is. I don't need to edit the joint. Looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. All right, now this joint right here, so let's go ahead and make it active. I'm able to replicate this part, this T bracket, with this, fat, this rigid joint right here. And so if, if we look at the joint, we got rigid joint right here, looks good. I'm able to repeat this with just a few clicks. This is something new. So look, if I click on assemble, we have duplicate with joints. I then choose what component do I want to duplicate? And for me, um, this T bracket and the screws are all one component. And so it, it's got multiple bodies, but one component. Check this out. I can choose this bot, this, same bottom edge here, and boom, there's my T-bracket. Looks great. What if I don't like that one? We can't always hit, you know, deselect. So we'll select that component again, and I'm gonna put on the outside, inside, I'm gonna put this on the outside, and I'm gonna show you something that's gonna happen. You're gonna go, oh no, that has come in upside down. And that's because we've rotated around, right? Our, our working planes have now rotated. I'm going to show you the quick edit to fix that here in a moment, but I'm going to come up here to the top and then I'm going to go to that top edge right there. That one looks good. Notice that fastened or that rigid is already in there. Looks great. Pieces are already fastened together. I'm going to go to the same thing on this top piece right here. Zoom in, select that same edge of that working face, then click OK. So we've got my, my you know, my, my mates in there, if we don't like how they do, there will be a quick edit, so we can do edit joint, just flip it 180, bing, done, and those pieces are now mated or fastened in there with that joint. We're gonna click on edit joint, we're gonna rotate this around 180, and then click okay. So I don't know about you, but that was a lot faster getting those four parts in there. We didn't need to replicate part. We didn't do, do a linear copy uh, or uh, anything like that. It was just bing, one click, telling what you want to change and how where you want that change to be. I think it's super awesome. Now, if everything works correctly, this thing should still work as expected. Looks great. It's going to be a collapsible prop gurney for a play we have coming up. But uh, it's aluminum extrusion cage with a lot of repeated parts. And I kind of wish I would have played around with it a little bit more uh, when it came to initially designing this part and not using a uh, rectangular pattern near as much, but uh, that duplicate allows us to save time and hassle. Let's talk about a particular big potential here. I have almost 120 holes to do in this design alone. If I were to throw the hardware in here, I would have to do a joint for 120 holes. Instead now, all I have to do is do it once, and then I can then duplicate that the other you know 119 instances or whatever it's gonna be, okay? All right, I just wanna make a quick video showing you that cool thing of duplicating, uh, and it is just fantastic. And that's under the assembly, duplicate with joints, super awesome, and hopefully you guys have learned something here. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.